Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your January 2024. Um, you could apply this to your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is a new love reading for you guys. So this could be someone new that you're just dealing with. This could be someone in the future. So apply this to your own unique situations and your own timelines. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, also after that, we'll take a look and see what you need to know about this new person. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on uh, my uh, TikTok page, Instagram page, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the link for that is also in the description box below. Um, do all the YouTube stuff to subscribe support me on there too. Tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius and love? What's going on with Sagittarius and love for January 2024? For Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Mm, this might be very specific for somebody Sagittarius. I feel like someone here had a random hookup and someone here didn't use protection and you feel like someone here is definitely worried about catching something here, okay? That's very specific for somebody, okay? So, you know, I do feel like at this time, you know, it could be that right now, Sagittarius, you're just having fun going out there, meeting people, having sexy time here. But I, I do feel like maybe someone, I, I, I mean, maybe someone here did, 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 did use protection, but the, uh, maybe the condom broke or something like that. But someone here is definitely worried about catching something here, okay? So it's important for you to get screened here if that's the case, because obviously, you know, a lot of these um, STIs and STDs, you know, they could mirror other, you know, illnesses, you know? So it's best to get tested and know what's going on here that was very specific okay two of swords here and the hangman piscean energy here maybe this is also an indication that because it's a new year it's a good time just to get screened just in good faith you know just to be you know to take responsibility for yourself and to be respectful towards other people that you come across sexually here okay the hangman piscean energy here the tower aries scorpio energy and we have the star card here aquarius energy Okay. When it comes to love right now, I do feel like you're definitely going through a bit of a transitional period here, a healing period. Okay. I do feel like there's an energy of like, okay, I'm not ready for love yet, but I'm just going to put myself out there, meet new people and just have some fun here. Okay. And that is completely okay. Not, nothing wrong with that. It's, it still seems like you're kind of recovering from some sort of abrupt, painful situation that you went through here. You're still trying to let this go. You're still trying to move that energy here. Okay, the Nine of Swords here and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Ace of Wands here and the Eight of Swords here. Okay. You know, another thing is I feel like someone here is definitely dealing with a lot of anxiety and fear here when it comes to being in the relationship here at this time. You know, I do feel like with the Hierophant here, because of what you're going through, I do feel like someone here is definitely having a hard time navigating through this. So it kind of like maybe behooves you to maybe seek out someone, a middle person to help you give you guidance into navigating this tough situation that you've been through here. Or connecting with a higher power here will be helpful. Leaning into that higher power for guidance at this time here. With a hangman and the empress here, Libra Taurus energy. Okay, so I do feel like you're going through kind of like a bit of a spiritual transformation here at this time. Um, uh, Sagittarius, okay. You know, I do feel like you're going through a lot of personal changes at this time. Sir, uh, time uh, uh, a lot of personal changes at, at this time here. So in terms of a relationship happening at this time, I really don't see it, okay? Right now, I just feel you're talking to people, you're having fun, you're having a good time, you know, and 
That's it, and that's okay. Uh, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? Tell me about this new person, this new love that Sagittarius is dealing with. What does Sagittarius need to know about this person for January 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs for Sagittarius. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles here. Temperance and the Queen. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles, by the way. You guys could be meeting your soulmate soon. Yeah, you guys could be meeting your soulmate soon. And you feel like you're, this, this soulmate is coming in when you least expect it here. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands, and the Two of Wands. You know, moving forward, I, I do feel like there is someone that you're dealing with here. I feel like this individual is not going to put all their eggs into one basket. Neither are you here because I do feel like there's options here. But I do feel like eventually with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here, you guys will want to get together and start planning a future here together. Okay? And, you know, I feel like it's not going to be an, an immediate thing. I feel like it's going to happen more so towards the end of the year. Yeah, more towards the end of the year, perhaps during your season, Sagittarius season here. Page of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, one of the things I'm getting here is Sagittarius. For you, I just feel like you're taking your pseudo time. Yeah, I feel like both of you guys are on the same page here. Both of you guys are not quite ready to commit yet. Okay, okay. Um, Going back to the worry about catching something here, I don't feel like this is you. Okay, I don't feel like this is the people that you're coming in contact with, but I feel like this is a concern for a friend or a family member or something like that. Yeah, that just came to me. So I, that's why I went back to that. Okay, the full card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy here, Temperance in the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles here, and the Ten of Swords. Okay. Yeah, Sagittarius, I still feel like you're recovering from some sort of painful situation that you went through here, a major betrayal here. Yeah, um, but yeah, I do feel like there is someone here that's coming in that's new, okay? I do feel like it's kind of like one of those things like, you know, sometimes when I see the Ace of Wands, it's kind of like a sexual energy. Also the uh, uh, Page of Wands, it's a sexual energy. It's an energy of like, okay, I want to be friends, but I also want like friends with benefits too. But I feel like over time, someone here is definitely going to catch feelings here. Now, either this could be you or your person or both of you guys might catch feelings here. But yes, I really do feel like it's going to turn into something more. But I feel like it's more towards the end of the year because like I said, I feel like you're still recovering from something here. And I feel like it might take a full year for that to happen. But I feel like you're not ready to give up on you know, meeting new people and having some sexy time, which is okay. Uh, but, you know, I do feel like a lot of guys are definitely staying on top of your healing here, which is a really great thing here. You guys are not pushing it to the side. You guys are not ignoring it, but you guys are just, you know, navigating this the best way that you can. Okay, so Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.